Hi everyone, today we're making hybrid astro jacks. Basically this is a plus that doesn't wear out and slides down the string like a VMAX. For this method a Dremel rotary tool is required. I use a small flat head nail wrapped with tape to fit the inside of the weight. When placed in a vise, the shell can spin around. Safety first. First up, I'm using a cutting disc. Make a mark around the shell where you're going to cut through first. I usually cut just under where the screw posts finish. Cut deeper and deeper as you go around until you finally cut all the way through. Then remove the screw posts. Trim the shell down further using the cutting disc, then finish off with an emery disc. Trim the shell down to the apex of the curve. This means that it will fit more naturally into the plus. When working on the other half shell, ensure that they are both the same size. Only when you're sure you've finished cutting the outside curve, use the cutting disc to remove the part that clamps onto the weight. Use the emery disc to smooth it down, then finish it off with medium grade sandpaper on a flat surface. Next, the plus ball is fixed in the vise so that it can spin around. Start out by cutting out the foam around the board. Try not to cut out too much foam so that less glue is needed later on. Check that the shell fits closely. Now you want to cut the groove to fit the outside of the shell. Start off small and gradually expand it. Check the shell in between cuts to be sure that you get a clean fit. Turn the ball a lot and only remove small amounts of foam. Bits of foam that hang off can be trimmed with the sanding attachment. Finally, I use this Berlin tool to rough up the brass weight. This allows the glue to stick more securely. Now the parts are finished, we can glue them together. I use Araldite. This is a two-part epoxy resin. The two parts need to be well mixed, and once mixed you only have a limited time before it sets. Spread the glue evenly along the inside of the rim. A little too much is better than not quite enough. Spread a small amount onto the metal weight. Put the shell carefully into place and press down. If a little glue comes out the middle, it's okay, just clean it out. Be sure not to let it run down into the central hole. When glued and assembled, fix into a clamp or a vise and leave for a day to dry. And you're done. Enjoy your new Everlasting Plus.